This is America's Court with Judge Ross. Gabby Dodds is suing Dina Landry in the amount of $1,050 after Ms. Dodd says her pet canine was mistreated while in Ms. Landry's care. So, Ms. Dodds, you gave your dog to Ms. Landry. Yes. The dog wasn't the same when you got her back, and now you're suing for $1,050. Yes. So what was it about the dog that was so different? Um, when I got home from my business trip and I went to pick, she wasn't even there. She had her cousin uh, be there. and. When I first took a look at the Kel Kelpie, my Australian Kelpie, her name What's the dog's name? Rusty. Rusty, uh -huh. Yeah, and the breed is Australian Kelpie, but anyway... I'm um, not familiar. Do you have a picture or anything of that? Yes, Australian Kelpie? Yeah, Kelpie. Kelpie. I, I'm not familiar with that Kelpie, breed. Let's see. Like a oh, you got, is yes. it, what, what is it, Debbie Thomas? It's like a sheepdog. It's, it's a sheep herding dog. dog of some sort. Oh, oh okay. Uh, let's take a look at the dog on the plasma. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm learning learn something new here. So that's the dog, and the dog's name is Rusty. Yes. All right, now what's the relationship with you and Miss Landry? We used to work together. I was the hospital administrator, and she used to work at the same hospital. We became very good friends, and I'm very disappointed that you treated my dog so bad. Okay, well, well sorry. Okay. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. All right, you all had a relationship. Yes. Why did you agree to take the dog to begin with? Well, first, Your Honor, I, pre I t agreed to take care of the dog because I felt like I owed her. Um, what do in you the mean you past, owed her? she had done a favor for me. What was the favor? She um, allowed, she picked me up. She went out of her way to pick me up, take me to work, and also bring me back home. What happened with your transportation? I had a car issue and I needed to wait. I didn't have the money to get it repaired right away, so I needed to wait for my tax money. So for that, for, for that month, she helped out by picking me up and taking me to work. And, and you me were home. very appreciative of that. I was very appreciative and I felt in debt to her. So Why would you leave the Rusty with Miss Landry? Uh, this time I had to uh, leave for two months and that's the longest I've been away. Okay, and now I, wait a minute. Yes. That's a long time to leave your dog with somebody else. Yes, Two Honor. months? I tried to contact my other friends, but I didn't have any friends close enough that could come and, and feed my pet. And so I thought of uh, Deanna. She's my friend. And what, are you a pet person? I'm not a pet person at all. I explained that to Gabby. I told her I've never owned my own pet, and um, I didn't have a lot of experience with dogs. She just insisted, and like I said, I felt in debt to her. So I, I did finally accept, and also she did offer to pay. So. Did the dog cause you any problems while you had it? She started to whimper. Like, I couldn't get any rest. I was, I work, you know, and I had to get my sleep, so she, missed, she just... She missed, uh... She did. She was very depressed, you know, and I understood that. And dogs get depressed. They do. She insisted, because she's used to being outside. She said she has a big yard, so I would let her play out in the yard during the day when I was at work. Um, after maybe about a week or two, she destroyed my patio, dug up plants, destroyed um, my patio furniture. She was not happy. So over the course of the two months, did you notice that the dog, Rusty, was different than how you initially found her? I did. She did refuse to eat. I notified Gabby of that. We switched. She uh, told me to switch the food. She lost some weight? So she was losing a little bit of weight. How yeah. much are we talking about? Over 10 pounds. She looked like a she's, think she's not that no. big there. So she was yep. a little bit... Right. You can kind of see maybe but some the ribs. The sheen on her fur, she, she lost so much weight. But, but more, more importantly, the personality was totally different. How so? She, she didn't even recognize me. She would always jump she all over me. She was mad at you. Exactly. She's not changing anymore. She's like a different dog now. I mean, she's aloof. I mean, she's very withdrawn. And, and I just wanted to say I did keep in contact with her. Is that I, true? I called her she three did, times yeah. a week for two months. So yep. she knew the problem that she the dog was going through. She didn't tell me anything was wrong. And coming up, you want her to give you $900 even though you still have the dog? Because it's exactly. not the same dog, and I want to get her some medical attention, some therapy, anything to help her. Closed captioning provided by... We're back with the case of Gabby Dodds, who is suing Dina Landry for negligence. All right, so what we're here for is so you end up getting the dog back. Yes. But yeah. now you're suing her. Yes. Because? Because she, she was mistreated. It was, it's obvious. She's like a completely different dog. So this she amount, this $1,050, is based on what? Uh, oh, the $900 is how much I paid for the dog, Rusty, my dog. 
And then I you bought this dog and spent nine hundred dollars. Yes. Three and you're years saying ago. you want her to give you nine hundred dollars even though you still have the dog? Because it's exactly. not the same dog and I want to get her some medical attention, some therapy, anything to help her. So and then what's the hundred and fifty dollars? Oh I paid her a hundred and fifty dollars to take care of Rusty and Well then you paid her a hundred and then you paid another fifty because Rusty damaged her plate. Exactly. And you right. want her to give that back to you? <laughs> oh yes. I mean because if you saw the dog you would know too. I did everything for her, and if she would take more care, like right now, she works, she's busy, she's constantly traveling, the dog is probably upset with her at this point. And I mean, if she spent more time with the dog instead of calling and, you know, yelling at me and leaving these messages. Where's the friendship right now? Right now, there is no friendship. Well, I just wish she had communicated with me that something was very wrong when I was away. I would have rushed home, but she did not say anything. But you were there for work. Oh, yes, sir, but, you know, Rusty's important to me. Maybe I could have got away on the weekend. What if you couldn't She's, have? She, I love What her. if you couldn't have gotten away? I, well, I didn't know to do anything she didn't tell me. If she had told me, me, if she had told me, yes, I would do anything. I could call the veterinarian. I could, I, I could get some kind of help for her that she wasn't eating. Well, get the help now instead of bringing me here. So you would have had to have spent additional monies. As additional money for what? if you would have flown home on the weekend you would have, that would have been a cost yes if you would have gotten some therapy or right. s took her to the veterinarian those would have been costs you would have incurred at least I would have had uh, opportunity. so when you're talking about those costs yes sir. that you chose not to incur because nothing prevented you from coming home on the weekend but I didn't know listen to what I'm saying yes sir you didn't exhaust those options yes that would have caused you to be out of pocket financially. Right. So as a consequence, why wouldn't you just take that same amount that you would have spent and use it towards the dog now? Because if I had left it with her, she, Rusty wouldn't be like she is now. Okay. If she hadn't kept the dog, yes. you would have had to have spent some monies yes. finding a place for her. Right. And next right. time I will. Yes, Your Honor. And so you would have, so she saved you money. But she tried to do the best she could. And what you're basically saying is, <laughs> your best isn't good enough. Right. Judge Ross's verdict when America's Court returns. You're watching America's Court with Judge Ross. You have a relationship with this person. Mm -hmm. The person wants to continue to have a relationship with you, but she's not feeling appreciated. Okay. And you're so caught up on, well, how much is this going to cost me? And not factoring in how much she saved you monies. Yes, Your Honor. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. You don't have a case from a standpoint that the dog's not dead, the dog is alive. The dog is basically conveying to you, I wasn't happy in that situation. So now you know. Mm hmm But don't throw away the friendship over $1,000. Mm -hmm. Your matter's dismissed. Case closed. Judge Ross has ruled in favor of the defendant. The plaintiff's claim is denied. My friendship is more important, so I learned a big lesson, and um, I've learned a lesson, and if Gabby wants to work on the friendship, I'm more than willing to do that.